Oh. Little things, yeah. aren't they? And valuable. Uh, yeah, that, that line from Colin, the world's poshest Monopoly set. <laughs> I think like if that. I found them, I wouldn't be playing Monopoly. Thorpe's uh, uh, 20 to 21 Visual Arts Centre from today, that's until the 29th of April. So there's over a period of time. Okay. Yeah. Aged just 29. She's already released four albums and sold millions of records worldwide. But the, this is the life singer says, despite all that, she doesn't. We're talking majority women, but also a significant number of men as well. Um, in terms of returning home to their partner, Theresa May says this is a subject close to her heart. But well, our correspondent Adam Fleming is in Westminster for us this morning. Adam, Theresa May spent a number of years, of course, as Home Secretary. She'll want to demonstrate that she's got some kind of decent... Thank you very much. And we'll get more reaction then afterwards from uh, domestic violence charities later in the programme. President Donald Trump is preparing to address a rally of support. One of the strongest storms, possibly in decades, known as a bombogenesis or weather bomb, is set to drench California this weekend. Today, mm -hmm. so far at least. Uh, 11 minutes past six. And after another eventful week in US politics, President Trump is heading back to... Right, we'll take a look at the morning's papers then. Let's start off with a look at the front page of the Daily Mail, a story that they've been covering all week. Concern... It's past six. Let's take a moment and have a look at the weekend weather. Darren's got the details today. Morning, Darren. All the One day we'll have the power. 6.20 is the time. Back with the summer of the news at half past six. Now it's time for the film review with my... ...all sorts of categories. And you can either enter a team or, as an individual player, and find a team. Head to bbc.co.uk forward slash get inspired to find... Good morning. It's Saturday the 18th of February. Also ahead. I'm this morning. How do you think each side might potentially benefit from a deal like this? And in particular, what's the Kraft Heinz interest in Unilever? of these, which of course crafted with Cadbury's, much to chocolate fans' dismay. What would happen if they started messing around with Marmite for good? Sure. Hard to imagine Marmite that everyone loves. It wouldn't be the same. Uh, where are you on that? <laughs> well, on the Marmite thing? Mm -hmm. Yeah, a little bit of Marmite. Mm -hmm. Just check if I've got anything I can <laughs> pass on to you. This time. I haven't got anything with me, I'm sorry. I, I, I was, I I've really enjoyed it. Thank you very much indeed. There <laughs> oh, you are. Okay. Can you, you. spit that's it between surely you. the wrong way around. <laughs> this a hoodie morning. tip, that's the other thing. Your hairdresser, the taxi mm -hmm. driver, the restaurant. To tip the man who delivers the online groceries. Yeah, the guest who comes into the studio. <laughs> Definitely him. Seven of small businesses, one of the business groups that signed this letter condemning the changes. Hi, Craig. Oh. Um, businesses up in arms around the country. Business. Well, we've seen lots of pictures this morning of the extreme weather that's causing chaos in parts of California. It's been given a... Next tomorrow morning. Bye-bye. Until then, have a good day. Bye-bye.